Hey guys, Rich here, and this is Acer's newest Concept D notebook. And what's cool about this, you see it's got its, its usual white design, it's orange backlit keyboard, but this has a display that has the Spatial Labs stereoscopic 3D experience. I know, that sounds like a lot to take in. See, on the outside, it doesn't really look like it's anything special, right? We've seen plenty of Concept D notebooks. This one was announced at um, next at Acer, like many others. But now this is, an, you can see my reflection in the screen. I, I've got sunglasses on. I'm recording with a smartphone that's hidden behind a piece of cardboard with, with a hole cut out in it because that's how I was told that I could record this. Um, it's not as simple as it sounds because so this is this is Unreal Engine and so you can see the perspective moving around a little bit and what's happening here it's actually tracking your eyeballs and it's tracking your head so that, that's why I had to wear sunglasses so it wasn't looking at my actual eyes it was looking at the hole in the cardboard and you can see that it does struggle at times but when you turn your head if you've ever you ever tried to look to, at something that's on the side of your screen, you kind of look like as if you'll be able to see behind your screen. You actually can do that here because when you turn your head, it actually does change the perspective and it's it's a whole 3D animation. This is from Unreal Engine. So that is probably my favorite of the demos that we're about to see. This one isn't quite as sexy, but it's a little bit more practical for what this is trying to be, right? This is 3D modeling. This is the 3D model viewer, uh, the Spatial Labs viewer, and that's just a space capsule. And we can see that we can change the material, we can change, we're gonna change the background in a little bit, and there's, there's stuff like that going on. This is all rendering in real time, thanks to NVIDIA RTX graphics, and all the technology is just kind of there for this to happen. So, it's really cool, like I said, it's rendering in real time, and it's based on your, like I said, your eyeballs. If you move further away, you're gonna see that it takes a little while to adjust, and that's why you're gonna see, since, since the camera is behind a piece of cardboard, you're gonna see that there are times that the, the camera is not adjusting quite properly because if you move your head back, it has to adjust based on the space that it sees between your eyes because it's creating depth. And so it's creating those two images that your brain's kind of processing as one. And now we're gonna move on to a video. This one is on YouTube and it's actually really cool. So you'll see, I clicked a little button, it's called Spatial Labs Go. And that's just an app that will turn the display into the 3D stereoscopic. So it has a stereoscopic layer bonded to the screen and you can turn it on anytime you want through that Spatial Labs Go application. It's easy enough, but you kind of need content that's gonna work. So you'll notice that video that I pulled up. This is an LG video. It's made for uh, 3D smart TVs. And that video has two different um, two different pictures. So now it's just combining those two different pictures into uh, creating a 3D video. And you can see it just, it really does just look phenomenal. And you even know that you're not getting the full experience just by, by watching the video that I recorded. But you can, by the way, you can you can toggle between 2D and 3D at any time. Because um, again, we're talking about 3D modeling, so maybe you're making something, you're making something in a 2D experience, but you want to view it in a 3D experience. I did save the video demos for the end because it's not so much the practical use for this product. This is a Concept D. It's made for creators. You know, this we're going to be doing creator stuff on this. So. Examples that I was giving, there are Blender animations that we saw, and Blender models, um, Unreal Engine like we saw, um, there's Pi Stage, which is something that I'm not familiar with, 
But there's a lot of cool stuff here. And the, the, the best way to show it off is obviously these really cool and sexy videos that take place in space. And you're going to see... Wait, wait, wait for it. You got the astronaut. Well, let's see. And then, oh, man. It's beautiful. You now you just have the solar system. And, yeah. So there's actually going to be one more video after this. Right, there's there's the baseball, which is my favorite summer baseball fan. The other part of it is the stereoscopic 3D display. You have an optical lens that's bonded to the top of the top of the screen. Um, so images for each eye are created. I'm, I'm reading this now, and the, the eye movement is tracked. The image set will be projected through the lens, then ref refracted to where the eyes are. So it's a it's a really cool technology. And again, this is coming to Concept D. So. Um, right now, this is a prototype that I got to check out, and so people aren't going to be able to buy this until at least later on this year. And there's the broken bat. This is my out of out of all the demos, that's that's my favorite one part. Just that broken bat, and we're gonna end on sliding through the dirt here, and um, yeah, so you can just see all the cool stuff that you can do with the, the Spatial Labs, the Stereoscopic 3D. It's a really cool product. I had a lot of fun uh, testing this thing out.